Aggression for AQA level, paper free. Revision in less than 20 minutes. Hey, I'm gonna quickly cover all the main content for the entire aggression unit as quickly as I can. If you're short on time and need to check you haven't forgotten anything before your exam, this is a video for you. But if you're still a little uncertain about understanding the content and aggression, then I've got a series of aggression videos that I go much slower in. And I explain in depth all the concepts that I'll be summarizing here. Even if you are short on time, it would actually take around an hour to watch them all back to back. But if you just need to run over all this information quickly, you better get started. Psychboost.com, over 170 videos to help you with your qualification and Patreon supporters can access bonus resources, tutorial videos, and the Discord channel. This video will use the word aggression a lot. Sometimes on the slide, it'll be shortened to AGG. Neural and hormonal mechanisms in aggression. Biological explanations for aggression suggest abnormal hormonal factors, testosterone, or abnormal neural factors, including neurotransmitter levels, serotonin, and or brain structures, limbic system, result in aggression. The limbic system. Amygdala and hypothalamus are identified as emotional centers in the brain. fMRI shows increased amygdala activity in aggressive participants. And the orbitofrontal cortex is the rational decision maker in the brain and regulates aggression coming from the limbic system. Serotonin is inhibitory, so it lowers synaptic transmission, having a calming effect on the brain. The serotonin deficiency hypothesis suggests that lower than normal levels of serotonin in the orbitofrontal cortex results in less self-control. Testosterone. Males are more aggressive on average, and they have eight times the level of the hormone, androgen, than females. High levels may lower activity in the orbitofrontal cortex and reduce serotonin's calming effect. Evaluations. Again, 1963. Electrically stimulating the cat's hypothalamus caused aggressive behaviour. Stimulating part of the amygdala increased aggression. Stimulating a different part of the amygdala resulted in tameness. Summer 2007. Removal of tumour pushing against the amygdala reduced excessive aggressive behaviour in a 14-year-old girl. Passamonte 2012. Participants given low amounts of tryptophan in diet which makes serotonin, showed high aggression. Wagner, 1980. Castrated male mice, aggression decreased. Injected them, and female mice with testosterone, aggression increased. Biological, so replicable and controlled lab studies using objective scientific measurements, rather than self-report techniques. Biological reductionism. Minimises the role of more complex explanations such as social learning theory, and cognition and culture's role on aggression. Social sensitivity. If people can be identified as potentially aggressive by biological testing, then they might be persecuted. Biological determinism. The idea that biology is destiny doesn't match the legal system in which people are punished assuming free will. Genetic factors in aggression. Aggression is innate, claiming genetic abnormalities, genotypes, result in biological changes that lead to aggression, the phenotype. Genetic origins of behaviour like aggression are often identified by looking at the concordance rate of related groups. Concordance rate is higher if closely related. For example, monozygotic twins. Adoption studies are used to separate environmental and biological factors. The MOA gene. The short variant of the gene has been linked with aggression, the warrior gene, in one third of Western men. This reduces the amount of MOA, an enzyme that breaks down serotonin, leading to more serotonin active in the brain. The environmental effect of child abuse needs to be present before expression with MOA. This is a diaphesis stress response. The XXY gene variant, an additional Y chromosome, was thought to create super males, taller, low in empathy and high in aggression. Genetics also influences the amount of testosterone produced in the body. This hormone has been linked to aggression. Evaluations. Corico in 1997 compared monozygotic and dizygotic twins, finding genetic difference did account for the differences in aggression, such as 40% of the difference in assault. Mednick and Hutchins, 1978. 10.5% of Danish adoptees with a non-criminal biological father were criminals. This is compared to 21.4% of those with a criminal biological father, suggesting criminality, and hence aggression, can be inherited. Brunner, 1993. The impulsive aggressive males from a large Netherlands family all had low activity MOA genes. Stewart, 2014. 
Genetic analysis of 97 men who had committed intimate partner violence revealed the defective MOA gene was present in the most physically and psychologically aggressive offenders. One third of Western men have the short variant MOA gene, but only a very small percentage of men are highly aggressive. MOA L shows a correlation between high levels of aggression and high levels of serotonin. However, the mechanism of how this results in aggression isn't understood and goes against the serotonin deficiency hypothesis. Ethological and evolutionary explanations of aggression. Ethology, the scientific study of natural animal behaviour. Aggression is thought to be advantageous in surviving threats, attracting mates, and reaching the top of social hierarchies. Animal aggression is often ritualistic, seeing the same behaviours across the species, suggesting it's innate. Innate releasing mechanism. This is a set of inherited neural circuits in the brain that attempt to prevent the release of aggressive behaviours that build up, similar to the build-up of desire for food, sleep and sex. Fixed action patterns. Automatic actions, including aggressive actions, that occur across a species. Started by the innate releasing mechanism at the presence of a stimulus, or cue. Evolutionary explanations of human aggression. Aggressive genes that help survive predators, gain resources and attract mates are selected for. Males can't be sure of paternity and are aggressive in relationships to avoid female infidelity. Evaluations. Tinbergen found male sticklebacks will automatically attack sticks with red painted bottoms similar to real male sticklebacks, but not realistic models without the paint, showing innate releasing mechanisms on cue. Slacket in 1966. Monkeys raised in isolation to avoid social learning showed defensive poses to threaten in photos. As much of human aggression is planned, like war, not instinctual, there is limited application to human psychology. Daly and Wilson, 1990, found that family members are far more likely to be killed by non-genetic related family members, and US babies are 100 times more likely to be killed if living with one or more step-parent. Sadella, 1987. Women were more attracted to dominant men than aggressive men, who were seen as less likeable, stable, but more promiscuous, suggesting a preference for men with status achieved without resorting to violence. Not all cultures have similar levels of aggression, despite the same evolutionary history, suggesting social factors. Social psychological explanations of human aggression. Frustration aggression hypothesis, a psychodynamic theory, Dollard and Miller say that frustration is when goal-directed behaviour is blocked. Frustration builds up, causing a mental tension. Releasing as aggression results in a pleasant feeling of relief, called catharsis. Aggression is more likely if it will remove a barrier to a goal or if you are closer to a goal. Aggression is displaced to a weaker target if the cause is too powerful. Social learning theory. It's a cognitive behavioural theory, suggesting aggression is due to observational learning, imitating live or symbolic models. Seeing them rewarded for aggression is vicarious reinforcement. It requires four cognitive mediating factors, attention, retention, reproduction and motivation. Deindividuation. Being in a crowd reduces private, personal values and public, others' opinions, self-awareness. This results in feeling less personal control over our actions and reduces feelings of more responsibility and lowers our inhibitions. This makes it easier to go along with the behaviour of the crowd, even when that behaviour is aggressive. Evaluations Keen Participants frustrated in a jigsaw task later shocked more than the non-frustrated participants, but they shocked less than the verbally attacked. Harris, 1974 When pushed in front of in a real queue, people became more aggressive the closer they were to their goal, in this case the front of the queue. But not all people who become frustrated become aggressive, and premeditated aggression doesn't need frustration. Bandora, 1961. Children imitated the aggressive behaviour towards a bobo doll observed from aggressive adult models. Supporting social learning theory. Williams, 1986. Children's verbal and physical playground aggression increased after TV. Symbolic model imitation. Zimbardo, 1969. The individuated females with hoods and large lab coats shocked for twice as long as clearly identified participants. Gergen, 1973. Participants put in a darkened room. 50% of them hugged and 89% of them intentionally touched. This is evidence of lower inhibitions, but not aggression. The individuation research can lead to social changes, like increased streetlights and CCTV, hopefully reducing crime and the associated costs of the economy. There is significant evidence that aggression has a biological origin. 
limbic, hormonal, genetic. So social psychology isn't a full explanation of aggression. Institutional aggression. The context of prisons. Acts of aggression are more frequent within prisons than outside. This could be due to personality or environment. Dispositional. The prisoner's social past and traits affect their behaviour in prison. This is the importation model. For example, alcohol and drug addiction, gang membership, periods of unemployment, low educational levels, their age and culture. Prisoners are often incarcerated because of aggressive acts. Violence, in this case, may be instrumental, premeditated. They might use aggression to settle scores with other gangs, gain status or deter other violence through fear. There might also be biological factors like testosterone. It can be helped with drug rehabilitation, counselling and education programmes. Situational. Prison management and design leads to aggressive behaviour. For example, overcrowding, access to weapons, lacking entertainment like gyms and libraries, the prison layout with blind spots, and being deprived of heterosexual relationships, their safety and freedom. This becomes stress, resentment, fear and frustration, resulting in expressive violence. This can be helped with officer training, better policies and prison design. Evaluations. Berry in 2011. Inmate violence in the 117 US Federal Bureau of Prisons was higher when physical conditions were poor, so for example noise level, hygiene and no privacy. Prisons with more white staff and few female staff were also more aggressive. These are all situational factors. The Lisi, 2011, a review of 2,500 young male offenders, found living in care, poverty and a history of violence to family were associated with violent assault of staff and inmates while in prison, all dispositional factors. Socially sensitive research. Research arguing aggression is dispositional can be used to justify lower prison standards. Zimbardo Stanford Prison Experiment, Participants were unlikely to have dispositional factors as they were screened and all Stanford University students. High levels of aggression were shown from both prisoners and guards, suggesting the situational power of the simulated prison led to aggression. There is evidence for both situational and dispositional factors. An interactionist approach might be a better explanation, with some prisoners more prone to aggression but more likely to be aggressive if threatened or they lack resources. Media influences on aggression. Media influences increase aggression in viewers through social learning processes and socialising. Showing aggression can be justified. Effects of computer games. The player is directly reinforced for aggression in game with rewards and praise, but it may reduce aggression through catharsis. Desensitisation. Repeated exposure to extreme violence in media such as films and computer games results in lower emotional reactions to violence such as revulsion, making it easier for the viewer to be aggressive to others. Disinhibition. Aggression is usually inhibited due to early socialisation, but movies that show that aggression is justified, so for revenge, might reduce the normal restraints around the use of aggression, altering the individual's moral decision-making process. Cognitive priming. Television and computer games can give us social cues, schemas, mental scripts on how to behave. Similar situations to those seen on TV act as priming stimuli, triggering the same aggressive behaviour that was viewed. Evaluations. Williams 1986. Children's verbal and physical playground aggression increased after the introduction of TV. Symbolic model imitation. Carnegie and Anderson 2007. Found lower galvanic skin response and heart rate if participants played aggressive games before watching violence, showing desensitization. Berkowitz and Powers 1979. Summaries justifying TV aggression watched by participants led to more aggression shown to a confederate in a follow-up task than summaries that didn't justify the aggression, demonstrating disinhibition. Murray, 2006. The amygdala and posterior cingulate, which is associated with long-term memory, activated only to violent videos when scanned by fMRI, suggesting cognitive priming. This theory has low face validity as real-world aggression has not increased alongside the popularity of violent video games. Research showing a link between aggression in the media and real-world aggression can inform policy on age ratings. Kestenbaum found young males reported playing games when wound up and felt relaxed after playing, suggesting catharsis. Much of the real-world data collected is correlational. It may be that aggressive children just pick aggressive video games. Well, I hope that helped with your revision. If you want more help with this unit, for sign-ups patrons, I've got a quiz, mind map, and essay plan. 
For Neuron patrons, I've got bonus videos, and in them, I answer real exam questions on this topic and give tips, telling you what students did right and wrong in the real exam. But for everyone, like and subscribe for videos right up to your exams.